The media library within Brizzy Cloud allows you to upload all the assets that you will be using within your website. Let's have a look at how the media library works, including a few interesting use case scenarios. We are back, baby, and we're talking about the new media library within Brizzy Cloud. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not even going to say how long we've been asking for it and how much we are going to be happy about it, just bouncing, bouncing off the walls. But what I want to say before we start delving into this is that I'm going to show you a few interesting aspects of this media library that you have to take into consideration. So make sure you watch the video all the way to the end. And before you do that, give us a like, you know, because who doesn't like a like? Right, so let's dive right into it. I am in Brizzy Cloud and I want to bring in a new image and we're going to start with that. So I'll bring in an image, I'll drop it under here. And this is what we're all used to. Select it, go to the image area and then click on the upload and this will open the media library for you. Let's bring in media. The first way you can do that is to click here on add. It will open your explorer, your finder and you can bring in the photo that you want to use. Select that, it will load it into the media library. You click on it and then click here on insert file. Before we do that, notice the sidebar on the left, you can see all the information we have here. You have two areas that you can edit. Super grateful for that. File name, first of all, and then also the alternative title. And then for your file URL, you can copy that here in case you want to share that or use that. Go ahead and select insert file. And from here, it's going to work just exactly the way you are used to working with images within Brizzy. You can go ahead and change the zoom. You can put it on original. And you can apply a mask, etc. all of that. But let's talk a little bit more about the whole media library structure and how that works. You don't only have to go to an image to access the media library. Go to the sidebar on the left and we go to the three stripes at the top hamburger menu where the CMS is. Select that and you will see now here in the sidebar on the left, we also have the media library. Select it and it opens it again for you. So let's have a look at what's going on here. In the top left, you can search for media. So by naming your files properly and you have a lot of media in here, you will be able to find them very quickly. Then your media appears here, but let's have a look at the types. So this will give you a good indication of what you can bring in. You can bring in images. We got that. And I'll show you SVG in a short while, audio, video, documents, and files. Selecting an image brings up the details here in the sidebar on the left. And you can also select the preview here. This will open it in a new tab and you can preview it. If you want to delete an image, select it and click on delete. Then I'll say yes. And for multiple deletion or control over images, select box select over here or select all, and then you can go ahead and delete it. We don't want to do that. So let's just deselect all and uncheck box select. In our first use case, I had used the add function to bring in the media, but you can also bring in media by just dragging it onto the media library. I'll open my explorer again and I'll go here and let me grab these five photos over here and I'll drag them. And the upload speed will depend on your internet connection as well as the size of the images, but there we go. You can also bring in other documents, like I have a PDF over here, and I'll drag that in. PDF file is brought in very easily, and this allows you to set up a file download. Now let's look at a few use cases here, now that we know how the media library works. Back to the page, I've deleted this image, but still here. So good, you're not going to lose that, but let's go ahead and delete it and just work with it from scratch so we can see that if you delete images and you switch them out, how it works. Click on the image and we go to our image. Now it gives you the media library. Let's bring in this one over here and we click on insert file. Brings it in as custom and I can go ahead and change the focal point and switching it out, I simply deselect and bring in a new one. For SVG images, you go into the media library. And like before, you just bring in your SVG. Let's grab this one that I have here of the Brizzy logo. Drag and drop. And great, I even get that display of the Brizzy logo. 
on this page that I'm working on, I've created this media library. So let's see how do you do that with the gallery element. I'll bring in a new block. Then we go to our elements gallery here under media, drag and drop. Select and go to the settings and click on images. In this case, if you just select the image, you will see that you won't be able to bring in more than one image at a time. To do this, you select bulk select, and then you can go ahead and just select the images that you want to bring in for this element. It's select a few and then insert files. And as simple as that, images are brought in according to the settings that you've set. And you can move them around up here like you are used to. Bring in more images. Let's do another box select. I'll choose these two. Bring them in. And then let's look at the download file selection. Call to action with something to download. Let's just grab this one here so I can get a button on the page. Click on the button, we go to the link. And remember this link you can find on many places like icons, text, columns, and we go to file. Click on the plus and the media library opens again and I can select the file and just click on insert. Let's update everything. Preview. And well, nothing to see except the images that we loaded, but we can go to the bottom and let's click on view recipes for our document. Super stoked we are. Two things before I say adieu. The first one is a great shortcut key. Hop on down to the bottom here and select on shortcuts. And you will see here, control L on a Mac. That's command L for open the media library. You're going to love this one. So I hit control L on my keyboard and boom, there we go. And the last thing is that if you have any suggestions that you would like to see in the media library, its behavior or new features, hop on over to brizzy.io, go to resources and then select suggest ideas here and just add them here. Just have a look first if maybe your suggestion isn't already there, but go ahead and add your ideas here at the suggest ideas. That is the media library for Brizzy Cloud. Remember to subscribe, visit us at brizzy.io. I'll see you around.